Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Solo Q to GM Ranked Joust. Uh, last episode, we took a fat minus 100, but uh, that's just the way it is. We're going to go uh, Osiris this game. We were supposed to play a mage, actually, uh, Vulcan slash Usano or Janus, but then, like, I looked at my team comp, and uh, I had to do some bargaining with the chat, and uh, we ended up on the Osiris here. So hopefully we can make something happen. Got Chimpasaur 9000 on the enemy squadron. Let's see what we can do. This is going to be an interesting one, for sure. Ooh, oh baby. What do you mean, man? I want the, the thing. All right. Let's do the build this time. Should I go axe, though? I'm a big axe guy. Is there a better item I can go? Should I just go the thieves, man? Maybe I should. I definitely need to get a beats this game, unfortunately. Screw it, dude. We're tainting. Nah. Mm. Mm. Eh. I don't even know. Look at the axe. Oh, I don't really want Baron's Brew. I'll get the stew. It's gonna be an interesting game. Vulcan, dude, imagine we just did a triple mage comp. I would have sent it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Can I have that? Axe proc. I will kill you. I will 100% take that. <laughs> or I'll walk away. Orcs too. <laughs> I don't think he's too happy about that. Not that I blame him. Hold up. That guy doesn't look very happy. Ow. Impaled for fun. Well, did. Hit it. Be Omega slow right now. Og Champers? We're looking for it. Yeah, we're just going to be doing a lot of pokening. The pokening be strokening. Arise. I can buy the double trouble threat. We got the contagion T2, and we got the chalice rolling up. Very poke team. Oh, yeah. Team is need the much better than it might have been. Lizzie, thanks for the five months. Do you have a god request to add to the list? Slash expand on the list. Exclamation point god list to see the list. Well, I can't really walk in that tower, unfortunately. <laughs> this Fenrir is kind of like begging for us to kill him. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> TTS. Yes, sir. He wants it. He wants it. What the? I do have to worry about Yishel ult. Unfortunately. I'd love to go in. Bye. Give Osiris 5 and 10 second cooldown again, man. This on her is being a little silly. Or not on her. This, uh... What's his name? What's the guy's name? Fenrir. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, 
Okay. Kind of want to pressure their blue. I should have just run there. Should have run the... Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I thought I could hide in his pillar, bro. I was depressed when he started hitting me. <laughs> I was dead to rights. On her ult being up and all. Ah, at least I got the buff though, copium. Alright, we get um our Oni's here. <laughs> thought that Fenrir was a Wheelix for a second. Oh, it's because he's playing the, the T5 skin. It does look pretty a Wheelixy, doesn't it? See if they did this. Yeah. Thank you. He's sucking. Nice. Oh, he's missing everything. The Code Meister. <laughs> Let's go. Things are looking good for us. Little, little bit of jumpage. That purple is still there. Dude, I think this guy is like really mad about the way this game is going. <laughs> I don't know what's what's giving it away, but it, it's just like a feeling I have. That is such a long CC, bro. <laughs> I think Mayamo Bean might just make this game very winnable for us. What do you guys think? This squadron of teammates is much better than the last squadron of teammates. I feel like it's a new game. All right, we got um. Onis. Stole two buffs from him. <laughs> yeah. And his Chester, too. Which is the craziest part. Tank Baron is doing some things, too. It's looking good. I'm not gonna lie. In these solo queue games, the Tank Barons are just always owning. It's just, like, random guy, 5, 7, 8 every time, and he's just, like, completely crushing it. And this is the first time it's been on my team, so I'm, I'm cool with it. I love random guy, 5, 7, 8. A little bit of slappage. A little bit of griffin wing punishment. Well, his ult's down. Ouch. A little bit of 73. Is there a ghoul? Oh, their buffs are up. You already know. He got it! It's Jover. No problem. Mm-hmm. Ouch. All right, Pridwin. I'm going the build that I should have gone in the last video. <laughs> I need a Pridwin. We must acquire it. My Cosmo? Nope. That's not me. He's mad for sure. Oh yeah, dude, this guy is freaking pissed. Bro is furious. I think he's ripping his chair apart right now. Falling back. 
Nah, I know he's not jumping for that. Reduce the attack speed. Gooseberries kill? Yep, depression. Oh, extra depression. Suck him off! Suck him off! Did he say you slay me? Ooh, the code stare! <laughs> this is crazy! Is Osiris OP? Hold up. Could be onto something here. This might be new territory we're breaking. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think on this. This build is going kind of hard right now. I perhaps go an XE chin size at the end. Enemy ultimate down. Ah, a perfect spot. Uh. 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 In so much pain. We just keep poking. Osiris. I did, Bearded. Thanks for asking. How was your new year, man? Mm hmm. Take a moment to reflect. Well, we're gonna get that. Can't do anything else. Unless I can. Okay. No problem. Ooh. You will not be doing that to me today. The mold shall guide you. Hmm. I need to kill them. The only question is how. Something to keep me together, huh? Perhaps you need something like this. Be effective. I think I'm going to be going Executioner. But if I go Heavy XC? Maybe. I don't think I go Chin Size, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Take a moment to reflect. Maybe just poke them into the into the netherverse. That's my plan. Oh. Goodbye, Cody. <laughs> oh, they have six. <laughs> Hold up. Is Osiris? Oh, hecking P? Hmm. So I think that, uh, Fenrir didn't make that uh, very easy for them to play. Do I get a, do we get a get back 100? 100 plus 100? Prage? 68. We'll take that. Okay, okay. The counter shot. We're going back up a little bit. <laughs> Match. <laughs> Are you looking at us like that? Oh, that's that's a Suska. Suska. Is it Susch or Suska? 
I'm a big fan of the Suska. Yeah, the team... The team was not so great for the, for enemy squad this time. Kind of a complete reversal from last game. Uh, Baron played amazing. And, you know, he's got a nice build. Where do you think he learned that? That's pretty good. Uh, aside from, I don't think I would have gone Tainted Steel if I was him, but... That's a nice build on the Baron there. Big fan. Uh, the beads ended up being great. I felt so, so tanky compared to last game where I was just getting kind of tossed around when I tried to go in. Uh, a lot of different factors were changed up, though, that also made it easier for me with the um, mitigation from Osiris passive. But uh, I do put a lot of stock into the build there. I pretty much did like the exact same build that I should have done last episode on Gilgamesh. And it turned out completely differently. Of course, there was a massive change up in the teammates as well. Tricky Elf and Ben Pretzel were definitely bringing the heat. Even though Persephone went 1-3, and three, he had uh, what felt to me like a really solid impact on that game. And then of course, Baron was doing really great things. Those ults were so good. Uh, unfortunately for the other squad, they got Mayamo Bean on their team, and uh, I think he was out of it the second the first red buff got stolen by an Osiris Sickle, so... Kind of all fell apart from there. <laughs> you shells Cody? I do believe so. Have you noticed the characters that the the past few episodes have had on with uh, our good friend Tromb on it? Eshel, Chiron, and... Um, what's the other one? I guess the Agni wasn't as much, but Ishel Chiron kind of got me stroking my chin along other things. So, yeah, the rest of that build would have finished probably Heavy Executioner, I think. And then, um, I'm not sure how I would finish that build. Maybe a Mantle and then finish my Axe into Sundry Axe. And then perhaps even trade my... Um, Contagion late game for Pestilence? No, I don't think so, though. Nah, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. I might sell Contagion late game for, like, Midgard or something, though, to help with the on her a bit. Or I could go, like, Arc Druid Fury, something like that. But I really did want to get Heavy Xy and build it as, like, my only attack speed item because I don't really need Chin Size to shred through the uh, the back line. Uh, the Fenner's pretty elusive, so I'm not going to get as many auto attacks as I want off on him. So I'll just go Heavy Xy, solo attack speed item, I won't overcap that 1.9, and I'll be able to weaken people a lot. It won't. We don't have like an ADC or anything to profit off of the heavy XE, but I think it would have been like my biggest DPS increase for myself. And then maybe I could have gone like a Titan's Bane or something instead of if I felt like selling Contagion for a damage item. So I probably would have ended up selling Contagion for I don't even know, man. Maybe I would have got like Toxic or Brawlers. Toxic Blade would have been good. That would reduce on her's attack speed and give me attack speed. Hmm, perhaps something there. I might be overcapping attack speed if I do that, though, so. Uh, yeah, no, it remains to be a question for the future if a game like that goes a little bit longer. So, yeah, GG's plus 68. We're back into 2600 range, getting closer to that diamond three, perhaps? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you in the next one.